All right, so today we're going to do a warm-up video. So this is a warm-up that any one of our gymnasts can use, and we recommend that you do this warm-up video before all of our other program videos. All right, so before we start, make sure you've got a nice clear space, no furniture in the way, and make sure you've got an adult present, so mum or dad or an, another adult in your family, to make sure you're being nice and safe when you do your home gymnastics workouts. All right, you won't need any equipment or anything else other than just your body for this warm up. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of cardio workout so that we can get our heart pumping, get our muscles nice and warm. All right, so we're going to start off with 30 seconds of jogging on the spot. Ready, set, go. That's it, keep going. All right, we're halfway. That's it, keep it up. Only 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, without stopping, 10 high knees. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job everyone. Next we're going to do 10 jumping jacks, then straight away, 10 high knees again. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, good job. Hopefully we're starting to feel a little bit warmer. We're going to do another 30 seconds of jogging. 10 more high knees, and then we're going to do some stretching. All right, ready, set, go. That's it, keep it up. Nearly done, halfway through. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. And five, four, three, two, one, and ten high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good work, everyone. We all feeling nice and warmed up? Awesome. All right, we're going to follow me for some stretching. Starting with our arm circles. Stretching out nice and wide. And going the other way. All right. You're going to have one arm nice and straight across your body. And using your other hand to stretch your muscle across your body. Good job. And other arm nice and straight. Use your hand to stretch. All right, this time you're going to put one arm up next to your ear. Bend your arm down. Reach your hands down your back. And then use your other hand to pull your elbow. Good job. And now the other arm. Reach up. Bend down. And pull across. All right, good job. Sitting down on the floor now for the next few. We're gonna have our legs nice and straight out in front of us in our pike shape. Squeezing our knees, pointing our toes, reach up to the roof and stretch as far as you can. Try walk your hands a little bit further out. And a little bit further. And coming up. This time we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to pull your toes up towards the roof. All right, we're flexing our toes. See if you can stretch down. And walk your fingers a little bit further. And walk them a little bit further. And coming out. All right, turning out into our straddle sit. 
Legs nice and wide apart. Make sure your knees stay pointing up to the roof. Okay, we're going to stretch both hands to one foot. And then stretch both hands to the other foot. And then see how far you can stretch down the middle. Excellent. All right, bring your legs together. Give them a bit of a shake. Shake the muscles out. All right, next one we're going to do is our seal stretch. We're stretching our tummy. Make sure you're trying to get your feet squeezing together behind you. And then we're going to go into our cat stretch. So we're going to push our shoulders down into the floor. Excellent. Give your arms a bit of a shake. Give your whole body a bit of a shake. Give everything a bit of a shake. And we're ready to start our gymnastics programs. All right, I hope you're all feeling nice and warm now after our warm up. All right, so for this next video, this one is for our senior competitive girls. All right, so those of you doing ALP or gym start level seven or above. All right, for this video, you're going to need a stick of some sort, or if you happen to have a floor bar at home, you can use that. Um, I'm just using this little metal pole here, but even if you just grab a tree branch from outside, just something that you can hold onto that's going to be used like a floor bar. Uh, so today we're going to do some bars conditioning, some beam complex, and then a basic floor conditioning circuit. All right, first off, we're going to do 20 shoulder raises standing up. So making sure we've got our core switched on, we're going to do 20 fast, so working our shoulder movements for our clear hip circles, and then we're going to do 10 of them really slowly so that we're working on those same muscles but in a more controlled way. All right, let's go 20 fast to start with. Five more. All right, good. And 10, nice and slowly. So we're going to go slowly up, making sure we're rounding through our chest the whole time. Try to get your shoulders open at the top without letting your chest stick out. Three more. And that's 10. All right, hold the bar out in front and we're going to do some wrist rotations. Ready for that wrist flick in our clear hips and our hiccups. All right, when you've done about 10 rotating forwards, we're gonna do about 10 rotating the bar backwards towards you. All right, good. Next one, we're going to do five of our kip drill. So remember when we do our kip drill, we want to be keeping a nice tight pike shape for as much of the drill as we can. All right, so we're going to start lying down, toes to the bar, keep up, and shoulders coming forwards over the bar at the end. Four more. Remember to make sure you're pulling the bar all the way up, toes to hips. And that's five. All right, next one we're going to do without the pole. Uh, if you have a floor bar at home, you can keep your hands on the floor bar for this, but um, I'm just going to do it with my hands on the floor. We're going to do five times front support, sliding out onto your tummy, nice and slow. And then we're going to do the same thing five times, but on your elbows. So try to make it really slow lower. Nice and quiet when you get down to the floor.
So that's two, three more, then five on your elbows. One more on your hands. Good. All right. Now on to elbows. Last one, try to make this the slowest. All right, good work. Next one, we're going to do just five jump to handstands. Um, if you can, try to make it a, as much of a press to handstand as you can. So just in straddle, make sure you've got lots of room for this one. If you don't have enough room, you can do these against a wall, or if you really don't have enough room, um, then just skip this one. So we wanna make sure everyone's being nice and safe while they're training at home. All right, last part of our bar conditioning, we're going to grab our pole again, we're just going to do a quick little core circuit, so we're going to do dish, dish rocks, arch, arch rocks, then front support and front support rocks. All right, so we're going to do 20 of each. For our dish, we're going to do dish with arms down so that we're working on our shapes for our clear hips. All right, getting ready. Going to start in five seconds. And go. Trying to hold as still as you can. And 20 dish rocks. Good, and into arch. Ready for a 20 second hold. And go. Nearly done, and 20 rocks. All right, leaving you stick down unless you've got a floor bar. Ready for 20 seconds front support. Ready, and go. Halfway. And 20 front support rocks. All 
All right, good work. Make sure you roll your wrists out. Roll your shoulders out. And getting ready for some beam work. So if you do have a beam at home, feel free to use that for this section. Um, I'm just using a nice Velcro line on the floor. Um, so you can also use like a line on the floor or just try your best to stay in a straight line. So we're going to start off with some basic complex. And we're going to start with forward, sideways, backwards walking. We're going to do 20 steps of each. So for me, that's going to be two laps of the beam. Making sure you're focusing on your presentation. Just because we aren't in the gym doesn't mean we can't work on having good skills. Keep your knees nice and tight and squeezing your bottoms. All right, now 20 backward steps. Again, you'll need to turn around for each one of these. All right, and 20 sideways steps. So we're just going to do 10 each way. And 10, and then 10 back again. All right, for the next one, we're going to do uh, what I call Michael Jackson walking. So it's going to be the same, still on nice high releve, but we're going to be doing it with a half bend at our knees. All right, still doing our presentation arms, so arms in present, half bend at the knees, high on releve, 20 steps forwards. Turning it halfway. And then we're going to do the same thing, but backwards, so 20 steps in our Michael Jackson set. Next one we're going to do is some step kicks. So we're going to do 10 kicks, forwards, side, backwards, and then 10 needle kicks. All right, so starting arms back in present. Make sure you're kicking as high as you can with nice tight legs. And then ready for back kicks. Make sure your back knee is not bending as you kick. And side. Right, for our needle kicks, we're going to do these on the spot, so not moving forward. Hands going down to the beam. We're going to kick up five times, and the last one is going to land in a lunge shape. So we're going to do five on each leg. Finish in lunge, and then whatever presentation your coach has instructed you to use. And then five on the other leg. Okay, for the next one, we're going to do some passe walking. So this is going to be flat foot, toe to knee, and we're going to be doing it nice and fast. All right, so I want to see fast feet pointing toes off the beam. We're going to go hands down for this one. So you're going, step and quick, 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 quick. 
And then back again. You should feel a little bit like a peacock. All right, next one we're going to do. Uh, three steps forwards, then we're going to do a squat, half turn, stand up, three steps backwards. All right, so we're going to do six squats. All right, so try to follow with me. We're going to go one, two, three steps forwards, squatting all the way down, half turn in squat, stand back up, and then three steps backwards. All right. Then we're going squat again and turn. So that's two squats. Three. Turn. All right. One, two, three. Squat, turn. So as level 7 and above gymnasts, particularly our ALP gymnasts, you'll know that it's important to have a variety of turns under your belt so that if you need to adjust your routine in a competition, you can use a different kind of turn to be able to turn around. All right, the next set we're going to try and do, you're going to do a five second balance with your knee out, then five seconds with your knee forwards, and five seconds up on releve, okay? We're going to do all of this space in the end of the beam. We're going to try and do it on both feet. All right, so everyone try and follow with me. Try your best to stay up without coming down. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Forwards, one, two, three, four, five. And up on your toe, one, two, Three, four, five. All right, try the other leg. And knee out, one, two, three, four, five. Forwards, one, two, three, four, five. And up, one, two, three, four, five. So most people will find one leg easier than the other. Um, that's just normal that your turning foot would be better. All right, the next one, we're just going to do five full turns on your beam. Have a play around if you need socks or no socks. Um, it's whatever you need to be doing to make sure that you can spin properly. So just five full turns. Trying to land these all on your beam or your line or in as straight a line as possible. Remember trying to get your toe all the way up to your knee for these. Oh, I fell on the last one. All right, so next, I just want you to have a go at five other kinds of turns. Okay, so this could be a one and a half, a double, a wolf turn, an L turn, a Y turn. Whatever turns you've been working on, have a go at some of them. So just do, try five that could be two of the same, or you could do all different ones. It's up to you how you want to do it. Just working on a few different turns. Alrighty. Hopefully you've had enough time to work on your turns. We're going to move on to some jumps and leaps. So we're going to do five straight jumps, five tuck jumps, and then five split jumps. Alright, for your straight jumps and tuck jumps. I'd like to see these all connected together. All right, so here we go. And then hold the motorbike at the end. Same for the tuck jumps. Hold at the end. For our split jumps, we're going to do three connected and then two individually. and then two individual split jumps. All right, awesome. Not long left for the beam program. 
we're going to do three leap progressions and then three split leaps. Make sure you're holding your landing. All right, finish off three split leaps. And one more. All right, good work. That's our beam done. So you can pop your sticks away. And we're moving on to a floor conditioning circuit. All right, so you don't need anything for this one. Just yourself and some space on the floor. All right. So we're going to do 10 seconds each of dish hold, then some rocks, and then some flutter kicks. We're going to do that same thing for our side dish, arch, and then the other side. All right, so getting ready. We're going to try and do all of that without coming down. Starting in three, two, one, go. So it's only 10 seconds of each. So really push through, get your best shapes. And flutter kicks. And rocks. And roll to the side. Holding. Remember to be closing the gap between your ear and your bicep muscle. And flutter kicks. Try to think about lifting your bottom leg up towards your top leg. And rocking. And ready for arch and hold. And kicks. Remember to be lifting the back of your knees up towards the roof. So your legs are very, very tight. And rocks. And ready to roll to side. Hold. We're nearly done. Flutter kicks. This is the last one, then we're going to have a small rest. And rocks. And finish. All right, so the next small set we're going to do, we're going to do front support, side support, back support, side support. And then we're going to go from our side support onto our elbows for a prone hold. All right. So we're going to try and do all of these in a row. It's going to be 15 seconds of each one, but a 30 second front support on our elbows to finish off with. All right, so everyone getting ready? Ready to start in our front support shape. Here we go. And we're starting in five seconds. And go. Keep pushing through. We're nearly done. Five more seconds and we're going to side. And roll into side support. Remember to push strong through your bottom shoulder. Don't let yourself go sinky. Squeezing your feet together. Five more seconds and we're going to rear support. And roll. Remember to turn your hands so that your fingers face your toes. Five more seconds. And turning. Push strong through that bottom shoulder. Remember after this, we're going to front support on our elbows for 30 seconds. And go. 
Keep pushing through, girls. You're doing really well. All right, we're halfway through this prone hold. Ten seconds to go. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, well done, girls. Give yourselves a bit of a rest. All right, the last thing that we've got for today is I just want you to have a go. See how long you can hold a pike press, a straddle press, and a tuck press, trying to lift yourself off the floor. All right, so give those a go in your own time, and then we'll do a cool down. All right, so this video is going to be just a general cool down. So hopefully you've had a lot of fun doing your uh, general gymnastics at home workout today. So we're just going to do a couple of stretches just to finish off. All right, so just going to loosen up the shoulders, a few forwards, a few backwards. All right, a couple of arm circles. Just trying to slowly lower our heart rate, keeping the movement going as we settle ourselves down. Just some slight neck movements. Don't stretch yourself too far. And looking to each side. All right, we're going to do just a light twist. Loosening off our back after we've done all of that conditioning. All right, good. Give yourself just a bit of a shake out. Shake all your muscles, all your legs, arms, everything. All right, just a couple more stretches to finish off. We'll do a seal stretch. Good. You can put your head back to this one. Just relax into it a little. And our cat stretch, pushing our shoulders to the floor. Good. So you should feel your heart rate starting to go down now. Starting to cool down the muscles. Do a pike stretch. Stretch out those hamstrings. And a straddle stretch, reaching down the middle. Don't worry about stretching too far on these ones. But you might find, now that you're nice and warmed up, that you can stretch a little bit further than you did in the warm-up. We're going to do our butterfly. Use your elbows to push your knees down towards the floor. All right, and finishing off with just a little twist. each side. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed all your workouts today and we're looking forward to seeing you again.